we joked about this even the very first year that we did this about when does something become like an annual affair tradition like something like when does that like finally kind of come together and i feel yeah. now that we're at uh how many years this is now this i forget is, is it five four? five this is our fifth yeah 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, yes. 22. Do we yep. count the COVID years? How does that work? Did we still well, do Well, we this? did this. We did them. Do they count for twice as many? <laughs> COVID time Certainly is not, the stress is induced the, yeah. from that, yes. But uh, <laughs> no, we'll just, we won't. We, let's not complicate things anymore than we, than it already was uh, during those times. So yes, this is our uh, fifth annual podcast of some sort that we wind up getting together and we uh do some do some drinking like we always do but this this is one where we kind of take even a little more time to say thank you that's right in the past i've called this the uh the annual traditional annual view i don't know what it's it's been it's been confusing so i've i've changed it now at least with your uh, agreement we've <laughs> changed stamp. it to we're, we're going to carry on the tradition of our annual viewer appreciation show and that is what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is... Wait. I just realized something. What? We've got something special here. Oh, my gosh. The budget was slightly adjusted this oh, year, which is something true. we should make mention of. The budget that's was slightly true. adjusted that's this true. year. Normally, we've been kind of going up, up, and up. Right. This year, we, we it took a little bit more time walking around. We had to do it all on our own. That's true. We didn't, once again, did not have any... And then we found out our previous helper... Uh, is not even at a certain location anymore. Yeah. Or even with that company. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, possibly even with that company. Uh, I don't think it was because he'd helped us too much or given us a discount. Yeah. I don't believe it was our fault. Right. Uh, at least I hope he would have told us if it was. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we were. So he was missing in action. Uh, we went to a couple new places. Uh, some, yeah. Some old friends, uh, in, like I said, business-wise, uh, wound up being at the same place. We were at Total Wine once again, where it always kind of <laughs> seems to come down to. Uh, it did. And, uh, and so we, we kind of went more for something that really jumped out at us. Like I said, we, right. we found some things that were a little more expensive again, going back and forth. Yep. Uh, and then at some point you just kind of looked at me you're like, well, we need to pick the one that we're very, we're excited about that is interesting to us. And maybe we can do something else with the budget. And we figured out something to do with the budget. I, and I, I totally forgotten. It's been so long and but I'm so excited to have uh, this particular guest make another appearance. Yeah. yeah. There was only so much extra budget there, so he won't be here for very long, but uh, like I said, presenting once again, now you can tell them exactly what spirit we were <laughs> about to have uh, and in the spirit of that. We will be trying the Barrel Bourbon Batch 33. And Phil, Phil has is returned here to help us out. Oh my God. Oh my Phil, gosh. Phil is here. He won't be here for long. Hello. He must be going. He must be going. He yes. must be going very quickly. <laughs> uh, but as we can see, Phil is staring very longingly at our choice. I think he is equally as excited. He enjoys a high proof bourbon as much as the next person. Uh, I was also a little shocked. Uh, as I am all the time, whenever I bring it up, I'm like, yeah, we could do another bourbon. You're like, we've never done a bourbon before. Well, you, <laughs> like, you literally keep looking. And I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, we've done. Uh, we've done. Well, this will be the fourth whiskey. Brew. So we've done. We've had done three scotches. Then last year was tequila. And then this year we went back uh, back to whiskey, but specifically bourbon, which, yeah, we have not done. Uh, for one of these annual viewer appreciation shows. Um, but that changes this year. That's true. Oh, wait. Just gotten a message from Phil Collins' agent. This is uh, our time is up, unfortunately. Time with him, is up. So All right. We are going to have to say goodbye thank to you, him. Thank you, Phil. That's right. But thankfully, uh, we'll maybe give him a little bit of bourbon uh, at the end of the show. take him home now. Yeah, we're going to take him home. And uh, yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember, though. No, no I can't. <laughs> always Ooh. love a good bottle pop, right? <laughs> it's always good. And that is a pretty good one. Um, so barrel, they actually do not, I don't believe, distill actually any of their own spirits. They're one of those ones that they kind of go out, they take from others that either have, and I don't want to say like overrun that because that sounds like a bad thing. Yeah. They go out, they select the best of the best of what they want to use. And then their biggest thing is everything is usually some sort of either barrel proof, bottle proof, uh, whatever kind of term you want to move. It's going to be high proof. Like this one is 116 uh, and yeah. change. Um so like I said, that is that is kind of their at least that is their stamp is that it's going to be a higher proof thing. They have some new rise that look really interesting. Uh, but this one, we kind of wanted to get back to the classic bourbon. So, yeah, there were a lot of different choices that we uh, things that we went through. We kind of whittled the whittled it down and then we went back and forth. We're trying to, like you said before, uh, incorporating price and this and that and the other. Will we do two things? Should we, you know, how, what was it? But um, ultimately, this was one uh, and the one we selected because it uh, it was hitting some of the the uh, it was checking off some of the boxes for us there of things we wanted to try. I've never actually had anything from Barrel, 
uh, you have. I have. Not I've, this specifically. No, but not you've this had specific barrel one. things, but I haven't had barrel before. So, yeah, I think everything I've had from them has either been very good to great. Okay. Uh, like I said, so I have fairly high hopes for this one. So I kind of definitely backed this one a little bit when we were trying to make our pick. Uh, but some of the information, which is on their absolutely fantastic website, you can go and uh, look at previous batch releases. Look at this exact batch release. We'll have the link down uh, in the show notes here. If you're watching this archive up on YouTube, if you're watching it on our website at aboutbeverages.com, it'll be in all of those places. Um, but this is uh, batch 33. It is a marriage of high rye barrels and high corn barrels, ranging in age from five to nine years, specifically five, six, seven and nine year old barrels. Uh, the high corn barrels were chosen. Uh, oh, wait, that was a tasting note. Don't want to read that. Oh, uh, yeah, I almost read. <laughs> I thought I had skipped down enough lines there, but uh, they, they wanted to give me information and I don't want it. Uh, two sets of barrels. Uh, let's see. They were mingled together for a couple months. Then the balance was adjusted for the most optimal combination. These were aged in American white oak barrels bottled in Kentucky, uh, but it was distilled in Tennessee, Kentucky and Indiana. So there you go. There was another one that was very interesting to us that we almost bought. The and Infinite? Yeah, there was an Infinite one, which if you guys find that one, that might be worth a try as well, because that one was distilled like in Poland and like it was like... Yeah, there was more one that kind of had, across the globe. Arizona was part of one of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, there were uh, there were several things that we picked, but ultimately, like this is made possible because of of uh, all of you out there listening to us, enjoying what we do, uh, subscribing, all of the things. We really appreciate uh, all of your. Uh, everything that you do to be with us and uh, and all that you share with us and we enjoy sharing with you and unfortunately we can't actually share this with you we no. will share how uh, much we hopefully enjoy it <laughs> yeah uh, yeah we'll, uh, we'll find share that, part that with you <laughs> yeah, but, exactly uh, but thank you we certainly do appreciate all the support throughout the year and ev- every year actually all right well <clears> cheers <throat> let's uh, start getting into it then um would you say it's the color of bourbon I would say it is the color of bourbon uh on the not lighter side but more on the uh, kind of clover, the, clover honey kind orangey of orangey yellow side yeah yeah like a darker like honey kind of yeah. thing okay yep i would agree with that do we get the things we actually like are super interested in like, absolutely okay i initially was getting like some cinnamon some like pie crust notes and some like maybe a little vanilla sweet hmm. and then when i went back in just as we started to like okay we're gonna start talking about this i actually got like some tobacco which sometimes i get out of um hmm. Uh, some things from uh, like a whistle pig and stuff like that. There was almost like a leafy kind of tobacco kind of note to me, like not quite smoke per se, but like that, that kind of thing. I, I got, uh, I'm, I'm getting um, like caramel and um, butterscotch. It's funny. I'm picking up on more of the sweet stuff and oh, their okay. descriptions do say that they, you know, married the two different barrels for, for different notes. There was, uh, uh, so I'm getting that. I am also getting, Almost like a, a peat, like a scotchy peat, but it could be the tobacco that you're talking about. Okay. That I'm Which is probably the barrel like itself, like I said, the wood or something, yeah. like I'm guessing. But yeah, I'm, I definitely keep getting that. And like what kind of makes sense because rye to me sometimes is that little bit of spicy uh, kind of note to it. But yeah, this yeah. kind of has a little more of a leaf. I, I, I like it. It's, yeah. a, it's a initially subtle aroma. Again, right. maybe just because we just opened it, but it definitely, the complexity is revealing itself. So I'm, I'm very excited for the taste. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I, I agree. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To five years. Well, five annual viewer appreciation shows. That's right. And to five more. <laughs> five more. That definitely hits me with a lot of spice at the front of my tongue. Every, with spice. every sip, like it is, it's only at the front too. Like the finish for me is very smooth. Um, yeah. We'll get into a lot of the other flavor things, but those are just my initial, every, with every sip, I was like, whoo, and it's like literally the tip of my tongue is like, it's like spicy, spicy fire. Yeah. Spicy, fiery, like peppery kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of it, yeah, the finish is very smooth, um, good, like I said, nice viscosity. I don't think the body is overly, like, I, I would have, wouldn't have minded a little bit more. Yeah, this, I, a little I, bit more body it's a little to thin. It. Yeah, it might be a little mm-hmm. thin for this kind of proof. Um, but yeah, those are my initial quick thoughts. What, are you, what were you getting I'm flavor-wise? feeling it right here. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. nice and warm. No, I, I agree uh, with everything that you've said. There's, like, there's a lot of spicy fire on the front of the tongue. Uh, the, the finish is smooth. Um, I, like I said, I was hoping for a little more viscosity in there. Um, I don't know why I associate dollar with viscosity, but, uh, do, you know, I bet mate, but that's not necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean it, but, uh, I usually, also higher proof, right? I would say that to me is usually right. like when you get a higher proof and again, I, I'm sure someone in the comments and educate us, like I said, happy help to, us out. Yeah. Like I said, but for me, like I said, when I think of the higher proof, I'm usually hoping it's going to have a little bit more or could have more of that to it yeah. because it's not getting watered down. It's not getting proof down to 90 proof, 80 proof, whatever else. Right. It's got its full, like, I said, but again, depending on the blend, the batch, whatever, it's going to have, you know, a certain amount 
you know, to it. So that's not necessarily true. I guess I always just hope for a little more because that kind of always leads to a little bit of a lingering finish, which I think this right. one does have a nice finish to it. I, it's just not as, as maybe as long also as I had hoped. Yeah. But like it's it's very good. It's a little smoother too. Like it's it's got. I'm getting more of the butterscotch and the caramel. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting as much of the like the tobacco like wood kind of note that yeah, I, got I don't really the aroma. get any of that. Um, and then like I said that which I've I've grown to actually like the first time I was like oh my god that's almost a little too spice. But like now you know you get three sips in. Uh, and the spice kind <laughs> of like I've, I've warmed up to the spice a little bit now. Yeah. I, I do like I do like that. I think, I, think yeah. it's ve- I think it's very good. Um, yeah. I just there's a couple little spots where I definitely would hope for a little bit more. Yeah. It does mention uh, also, which normally we don't do very often, uh, and I don't think necessarily that you have to with this one, but it does even have tasting notes specifically putting like a little bit of water with it. So I'm just going to okay. grab some and we'll see if that kind of maybe opens up some more see what happens or whatever else. So we're yeah. going to give that a try. What was your first thought? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my first thought is like, oh, hey, there's the wood and the tobacco. That is, that's actually what I got back. And I got the, some of that and, and the, the spice completely gone from the front of my tongue. Yeah. It comes back. It's moved to the, yeah, it's moved to the mid palate and then also on the finish. It comes too. back, right? It's not like spice. And then, cause I, I will, I will say that my, I was a little bit overwhelmed by that spice and then everything else was kind of just fighting for my attention. I don't think it doesn't give it more body, but even at, before we were adding the water and it wasn't super scientific, the amounts we added. No, you we added did. A full I did thing. use it. Yeah. I used it a full teaspoon, like I said, because of the amount that I, I had. Did, Keith kind of tried to use much. a little bit yeah. less. Um, um, but even before that, I was, I was feeling a little bit of like a, a, a slightly oil uh, or oily feeling to the roof of my mouth. So it didn't have like the necessarily the mouth feel, but it was leaving a little bit of an oily um, coating. Um, but yeah, it's more, I would say it's, it's more full in that the, the flavors are kind of all over on the palate in, in, a, in a good way. Yeah, so, it's brought up much more. Yeah. I, I do huh. lose some of the sweet and butterscotch though that we got. Like it almost right. kind of like it, it kind of re- flip things around. Like now the subtle notes are like the sweet notes and I'm getting more of like the oak aging, maybe a hint of vanilla and some of that. Very yeah. interesting. I'm glad we did that. Yeah. That's, that is very unique. Too. So we can we can turn that one bottle into two bottles into two no, the, no, into a third more probably <laughs> actually we could probably top that back off ah, yes. and when we give it to our brother we can claim that we didn't even open it we didn't open I can it. read plastic no. like heat seal yeah. or something like that no. No, well, the, <laughs> damn it he probably watched his podcast and he already knows but he's not going to see it till after Christmas that's Eve. true unless he's watching right now which pretty sure he's not no, be, actually be, he can't because we're not live <laughs> that's true yeah so, exactly <laughs> it'd be very tough if, if he, he was watching that. us right now i think we'd all be more than a little bit surprised then he's got a camera somewhere could be maybe he uh, also uh, paid <laughs> phil collins to be in here then as well yeah. um all right well yeah no that was i'm glad we did the reverse of that yes i would have i would have liked a longer finish i would have liked a little yeah. bit more there that's kind of what we've been very lucky with all the previous years yes um that we kept getting a little bit extra there and like sitting, you know, we were just like, Oh, and then this that comes back around. Yeah. Whereas this is kind of like, we got all the flavors that we did and then the finish is, is, is kind of done. Yeah. So that's, I, I would say that's a little bit of a, a disappointment, yeah. um, which is uh, unfortunate. I blame Phil. Like I said, we could have uh, budgeted yeah. a little bit more if we hadn't brought him back, I suppose. Yeah. So it kind of, it's a yeah. little bit his fault though. But, but if you want to see any of the other ones that we have done for our annual podcast, uh, like I said, our, a big thank you to everybody and your support. You can go find those at the uh, website about beverages.com or up on YouTube. Either one of those places will have them along with all the other things we've done, all the other whiskeys and bourbons, scotches, waters, all kinds of things uh, that uh, makes us uh, uniquely, I think, pretty awesome is that we do try a little bit of everything. We do. Um, so you can check those out there. If you only want audio podcasts, you can find those as well. Uh, Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, all of those uh, are great options. If you have a favorite podcasting app you enjoy using, uh, you know, to search for about beverages, you'll probably uh, find us there. Uh, and while you're doing that search, uh, some other things are going to come up in that giant Google feed or Bing or whatever search engine you choose to use. Uh, it's going to come up Netscape. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yahoo. Uh, any of those, uh, it's going to come up with some other things too. Some, uh, some social media type things. The social like media pillars, the, yeah, three the three pillars, pillars that we use. The yes. Three, yes. Uh, which are TikTok. Instagram and Twitter, which is the one that we use most often to keep you up to date on what's going on here at About Beverages. Um, I guess I'm not going to be tweeting that we're, I will be tweeting later today that we're going to be going live. Which Although we do. I didn't do that before this particular episode because we weren't 
live and streaming on twitch.tv slash about beverages, which we usually do uh, most Thursday evenings around 530 Pacific. That's when we get together, hang out, uh, try different things, usually live and get to interact with uh, the people who are in chat. Uh, also, uh, throughout the week, Andrew's going to keep you up to date on what he is doing in the gaming world and what he's going to be drinking while he is doing it. So for all the latest at About Beverages, follow us on Twitter. But, as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it an annual viewer appreciation shot. <laughs>